Good day everyone, this is Jason Santos and for today we are going to continue the discussion of general mathematics. We are on our second uh, topic under functions and relations and we have the vertical line test. So we're still in the first week and um, we have to represent real life situations using functions. Uh, and including piecewise functions, okay. And this was based from the general mathematics modules from uh, first quarter module one. All right, so we left off our discussion in functions and relations, and um, in this part, we are going to continue this. And um, last time we have established that. Um, we can represent functions using a graph, okay? Actually, it's much better to um, view data using graph, okay? Because if you're a visual person, you would be able to understand information easier if you are using a graph versus uh, just numbers or plain numbers. So graphs display a great many input-output pairs in a small space, and the visual information they provide often makes relationships easier to understand. So by convention, graphs are typically constructed with the input value along the horizontal axis and the output values along the vertical axis. So last time, we, we understood how you will be able to know whether the uh, what you are seeing is a function or a relation. So this time, using the vertical line test, we will be determining whether what we're seeing in the form of a graph is a function or not a function. And the vertical line test can be used to determine whether a graph represents a function. If we can draw, so this is um, what's needed, okay? This is the requirement. If we can draw any vertical line that intersects a graph more than once, then the graph does not define a function because a function has only one output value for each input value. So last time, if you remember, we have the domain and we have the range, right? So the rule in order for us to categorize this as a function, each number or data in the domain must only have one equivalent, okay? If it has two equivalent or more, then it is a relation. So similarly, if we are going to use the vertical line test, it says here that if we draw any vertical line at any part of the graph and it uh, intersects more than one time, then it is not a function. So let's see uh, that um, requirement. Let's try to apply that. So the first graph, it says here that this is a function. So why is it a function? So let's try to put an imaginary line here. You see the dotted line. If I put it here, you know, the data intersects my line once. So regardless, even if I put it here, if I put it here, you know, the blue line which represents the data only hits my vertical line once. Okay. On our second graph, if you would notice, it says here that this is not a function. So why? Because if it intersects a graph more than once, it is not a function. So this is the graph. You have this data. Okay. And you draw an imaginary vertical line, what happens? Your data hits the vertical line twice. So it hits here and here. So since um, it meets the criteria we have mentioned earlier that if um, it intersects the line more than once, then it is not a function. For our third example here, it is also categorized as not a function. Reason why is that the data uh, is drawn in a circular manner 
And what it means is that it hits the vertical line twice. So it, you have one point here and you have one point here. Now even if I move the the data on different locations, okay, it's still going to hit the it's still going to hit the vertical line twice. So even if I draw it here, it's going to hit two points. Even if I move it here, it's going to hit two points as well. So you see, um, drawing the vertical line anywhere in the graph should be able to tell you whether that graph is a function or not a function. And I hope you understand this. Okay. So let's try to test uh, what we have learned. Okay. If um, we have these three examples here, and we would like to know which of the graphs represent a function. So which among this uh, given uh, represents a function and which are not a function. So let's see. So according to um, the solution, the third graph, this one, is not a function because if we draw a vertical line, it would hit two points. Okay. If any vertical line intersects a graph more than once, the relation represented by the graph is not a function. So notice that any vertical line would pass through only one point of the two the graphs uh, shown, parts A and B of three figures. So if I would draw a line here, I would only hit it once, here, here, and here. Now, in the same manner, if I do it in the second graph, wherever I would draw my vertical line, it would only hit it once. So that means that both of these graphs are functions. Okay? Now, um, if we have a function, we can use the horizontal line test to tell if the function is one-to-one. One-to-one -one means that for every specific input, the function has a specific output. So if you would imagine um, one entry in the domain is equals to just one entry in the range because there are cases even in our past discussions wherein there's one entry in domain and then it is equivalent to two entries in range. Okay, But this time, um, what we are trying to understand is determining whether the function is one-to-one. -one. And you can use horizontal line test for that. Okay, so in the same manner, we can use it in our example below. Let's try to apply the horizontal line test on this set of um, graphs. So we're just going to draw the horizontal line. So I drew it straight forward here. And if you would notice, among all the graphs only graph v is the one that qualifies for a one to one function because wherever i would draw the horizontal line for graph b um it would only hit it once whereas for graph a if you would draw it here it would hit it thrice one two three and here, 1, 2, 3, the same manner for graph C, twice, regardless of where you write it. So, let's try to apply uh, the vertical line test in uh, this given. Uh, I would like for you to pause this video, try to answer this on your own. You know? um, try to determine which among this uh, data is a function and which one is not a function so you can pause this video right now and answer the the graphs okay so if you're already done answering let's look at the answer page all right so the first one it says here that it is not a function Okay, why? Because if I would draw a vertical line 
here, it would hit it once. But if I would draw it here, it would hit it twice or even thrice. So imagine if I would draw it here, the vertical line, I would hit this part and this part and this part. So definitely, this is not a function. For my second graph, this is a function because wherever you would draw the vertical line, it would only hit it once. Same for the third graph. It is a function. This one is not a function, the fourth graph. Why? Because if I would draw the vertical line here, I would hit the data twice. The fifth is a function as well as the sixth. So that wraps up our uh, very short discussion, continuation of functions and relations. I hope you have learned something from this video. Uh, please follow me on all the social media platforms I'm in, such as YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. I'm also in Instagram. And um, for more videos like this, check out my playlists, uh, which you can see in uh, the screen now. And yeah, thank you so much for supporting my channel as always. See you on the next video. To God be all the glory. Till our next episode.